Yo, there's more lore. Oh, this is, the, this is where it came from. One to two ads are fine. Eight unskippable ads make the content unwatchable. I agree, <laughs> but I still run them. <laughs> I agree, but I still run them. <laughs> Just some. <laughs> Just some, idiot. Because <laughs> if you're not, you're not supporting the streamer in any way. So get the f out of here. <laughs> dude, oh, what the? Dude, okay. First off, why is he so mad at me, dude? Look, look at this title. Zeppelin clowns on Pyromancer for his horrific takes. <laughs> Why is he mad at me? <laughs> he had made a tweet about ads on Twitch and someone had said, well, one to two ads are fine. Eight unskippable ads makes the content unwatchable. Especially live content. <clears throat> it's either ad blocker or I just don't Rack watch it all. We're all going ad blind, and the more ads they serve us, <clears throat> the less we pay attention, <clears throat> and the less our eyeballs are worth. And Pyro said, "Well, if you aren't subbing, then you may as well unfollow and leave the stream." <laughs> I can't believe he because you aren't that, doing dude. anything to support the streamer. You can't see chat. What? Sorry if that makes you feel guilty or something. But it's the truth. <clears throat> Which is obviously uh, just an, an unbelievably shit It's not the first time he said that. He's always said that. <laughs> <Like> <clears throat> the audacity to say this. The audacity to say this to someone who might be watching you on Twitch. Who might consider watching you on Twitch. Damn, bro, I've been subbed you for a while, but to say if you aren't subbed, you should just unfollow and leave the stream because you don't want to watch a chain of ads just sounds bad. They even said a couple is fine. This viewer is just as right. Yeah, the guy didn't even say I won't watch ads. Fuck you. What he said was I'll watch a couple ads, but if there's a lot of ads, that's kind of rough. Yo, okay, let me, okay. Let me ask you guys a question. So, okay, look, man, I'm not going to tell anybody who to watch, who to... Uh, I, look, man, you do you, okay? But I genuinely want to know because there has got to be some people in this chat right now that have followed Pyro or enjoy his content. When you saw this, like, honestly, how did this make you feel? If I was watching somebody and they said this shit, I would feel like betrayed. First off, I would have felt like I wasted my time investing in a person that was a piece of shit. And I would have had like no sympathy for bad things that happened for this person's channel after saying something this stupid, man. Like, I genuinely want to know, how did this affect you? Like, if I was a viewer in their stream, I would never watch their shit again, man. Never. I was a casual Pyro fan. I left five apologies ago. I stopped subbing after I saw him before the last blow up. That was wild when he boosted Astro and got... Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. He boosted Astro and got mad because chat was clowning on him. He boosted to do job quests for story. He puts like job quests on like sub goals, right? So maybe the sub goal outweighed the cost of the boost. I don't know. I was just curious because there have been people that said that he has made some good content, like some good lore content from WoW and stuff. And people liked watching him go through the story. So I don't know what the fuck happened, man. Like this is just crazy to me because my first interaction with him was him shitting on me in a VOD or about a VOD that he didn't even fucking watch. Basically, he formed an opinion without watching the VOD and the opinion was wrong. So his entire outburst was wrong because me and him actually agreed on the same thing. He just didn't watch the VOD or something. I don't know. So anyway. And so instead of getting upset with Twitch for making content unwatchable on the platform, instead of getting upset at Twitch. Yeah, that's a really good point. Actively sabotaging you. That's a really good point, actually. Uh, making it. Very difficult for people to stay in your stream. Yo, Ken, thank you, the, thank you for the resub, with Kinetic. Instead of directing your anger at them, no, it's the viewers that are the problem. It's the viewers that are too poor to sub. It's not even about being poor. They don't want to sub, and that's their problem. <laughs> They're just bad viewers because they don't want to sub. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Mikey! What? It's... The viewers are probably... They're the one... They're on your side. Wait, Zep was 42? They're on your side. Zep was 4... I didn't know that. She's older than me. Holy fuck. Well, hold on. Why the fuck do you say that I'm like 3,800 years old? She don't look 42. She's not 42? There's no way she's 42. You guys are so stupid. 42, 42, 40, 32, 30... You don't want ads. You don't want. Is that is that is that rude to ask? Well, no, I'm not trying to be rude. No, I, no, is that rude? She doesn't look 42. Oh, if I look that good, I'm 42. Have to run so many ads. They don't want to watch so many ads. You're on the same team, bro. Why are you doing this? Why are you antagonizing the people that are that you need that you're so upset about them not subbing? I just. People really, uh, also, people really do not like uh, being told what to do. That's another little uh, piece of advice for you. Even if someone, even if Pyromancer had never said anything crazy and stupid, and even if he had never done anything like that, and he had always been, like, super <laughs> wholesome, and everyone loved him, right? If he came out one day and said, hey, if you're not seven, fuck you. You put your shots up. <laughs> <laughs> All the people that had maybe wanted to sub would say, huh. Or even if they were sub, they would be upset about that. You're antagonizing your own supporters. The assumption here, the premise here is that their time... Hey, Narl, thanks for the sub. A viewer's time does not have value. Their time doesn't have value. That's Yo, what, I literally just said that, that man. There. Yo, I literally just said that. That a person, even though they're not subbed, they're still spending their time on you, which could be spent somewhere else. No, I didn't No, I didn't pre-watch it. I didn't pre-watch it. Pre-watch, do it. No, shut the fuck up. The value of a chatter can add it to the quality of a stream. Well, then my stream is absolute garbage. It's literally the dumpster of Final Fantasy XIV because all you motherfuckers do is come in here and you call me bald and tithead and you type XFFing up in her and you post dicks. That's, th that's the summary. Okay, that's what it's evolved into. <laughs> what this whole uh, idea is based upon. If someone's sharing you their time with you, that's not good enough. Only their money matters. You're biting the hand that feeds you. It really doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, Pyromancer then made another tweet saying, sorry to tell you this. Yo. Okay, hold on. Before she reads this, man, I could tell you this. So whenever I think about streaming, man, I try to think about it in the long term because I don't want to do anything else with my fucking life, man. Like, this is it for me. This is this is it. This is the peak for me, man. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm too dumb. I'm too bald. I can't, I can't fucking do anything else, man. So I try to think of it like long term. So let's say you have two different viewers, okay? One guy shows up and he tier three subs and you're like fucking awesome, but he's kind of an asshole in chat, okay? Get the fuck out of here. I don't want your money, man. Okay, so that's viewer one. Viewer two, subs maybe three months out of the year, but always is in chat, having a good time, basically making the stream better because you guys make the stream better. If you guys make the stream better and more enjoyable, then that's going to incentivize other people to do the same. So in the long run, it's going to be much better if the people in chat, the people that are subbing, you could see yourself like getting along with them or hanging out with them. That's how I've always viewed my channel. You know, I mean, we don't have to be the best of friends, man. Like, like, look, I'm not trying to be the best friends with everybody. But like just casual hangout, like, you know, when we go to fan fest and shit, right? If you make me feel like I don't even want to meet you, then you can get the fuck out of my chat. I don't, I don't want to have anything to do with you, man. It ain't, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's. It's, it's not like I'm out to get you or anything. It's just you're too weird for me. You're not going to get along with everybody, and that's fine, and that's okay. But that's how I've always viewed this shit. I value the quality of who you are as a person over your money, man. Like, I don't... Like, over the years, it's been really hard, but I've been in a spot financially for the past, like, you know, two and a half years where I can't ask for more, and I'm not going to ask for more. Look, man, this is going down a different, a different route. You know, I could sit here, and this is going down one of those, like, super deep fucking, you know, you like literally changed me as a person and shit route. And then, and, and I, I don't want to get off topic, but, but it's true. You have, okay. You have, but my point here, I have always valued the quality of a person over the money. Now don't get me wrong. 
Everybody likes money. That's why I ram ads down your fucking throat. <laughs> because if you're not subbed, then you're watching an ad. <laughs> how many ad, how many ad watchers right now can't even hear me shitting on them because you're watching an ad. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's funny. Let's keep watching. I love this so much, too. I'm actually, I really hope Pyromancer gets back on Twitter. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it's the smartest thing he ever did to not be on Twitter. He needs to get off Twitter and get his shit together. No, Pyro, I don't want you to get your shit together. Well, I kind of do. I want you to get your shit, shit together in real life. But if you could keep acting like a clown on social media, that would be really good. <laughs> Yo, fucking true, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Oh, God, dude. Yo, and he messages me. Yo, she is destroying this guy. And he's mad at me. I just want to say this now. Like, with everything going on, I could have been a lot meaner. But me, I'm like, eh, it's just... It's just not worth it. I got Prague to worry about. I don't, I don't really care. Like it's beating a dead horse, but she does not give a fuck. Okay. The horse is dead. It's decomposed. It's a zombie horse. She killed the zombie horse. Now the zombie horse is decomposed. The animals are eating the decomposing and it doesn't matter because she's still beating the dead horse. Dude, it's insane. And he's mad at me. He's mad at me, dude. I'm the least of his problems. This is very entertaining. And if you could keep I mean, doing this on Twitter, it'd be really good. Like, I want you to, I want you to do better in real life, You'd feel better. But, bro, this is super funny what you've written. <laughs> this is super fucking. If this is like a copy pasta has been born. It says, "Sorry to tell you this because it's gonna break your little heart." But <laughs> if you're a streamer that doesn't even average three to five viewers, you aren't much of a streamer. Stop walking around spouting opinions about streaming, as if you have any idea what's going on. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I mean, these it's are such gold, a good though. Copy pasta. It's such a. I, I don't. These think are I've gold. Seen anyone doing it. Sorry to tell you this. It's gonna break your little heart, but if you're a streamer who doesn't even average three to five ads, you aren't much of a streamer. Stop. But Stop congrats, though, energy. Opinions about Doritos, Cool Ranch, Papadilla. As if you have okay, so, so, all right, man, there is some truth to this, but this also doesn't tell the whole picture, okay? And the example that I gave is like the technical side of being a streamer or like the social media side of being a streamer or the YouTube side of being a streamer. There's more to streaming than just viewer count. That's all I'm trying to get at, okay? There is a little bit of truth to this, as stupid as this sounds, there is a little bit of truth to this, but there's also so much more to being a streamer than just your viewer count on Twitch. It's so obvious to me as a content creator that his channel is just dying. It's bleeding from every orifice. The only thing that he can focus on is the revenue part. That's what I think. And it's so obvious to me because this guy's like trying to flex his dick or something about his, uh, about his stats when in reality, he shouldn't be talking at all about his stats because his stats over the past, what, like, you know, few months, you know, half a year or whatever have been in the massive fucking decline. You know what I'm saying? And that's bad. That's bad. As a content creator, that's super bad. Okay. Another thing is like sub count. Sometimes you're high, sometimes you're low. Okay. It happens. It depends on the content. It depends on what you can do to keep your valleys high. You know what I mean? Because like when there's nothing to do in final fantasy, my sub counts like in the shitter and that's fine. I understand it's, I mean, it's fine. I mean, there's nothing going on. Why the fuck would you sub? I get it. But when there's content, people are subbing, you know, it's a hype time. That's just the way it is. So you have to be mentally prepared for those valleys. You have to be prepared to not be on top all the time. Nobody is on top all the time, man. Like you're just not, it does like, and that's in all aspects of life. I really feel like who you are as a person really shows when you're down because when you're up, when you're high, it's easy to be happy. But when you're down, it's hard to be happy. And that, and that's who you really are comes out. Like, are you going to deal with the situation or are you a bitch? You know what I mean? Like, do you know how to handle your shit? Or, you know, are you going to freak the fuck out? Are you going to do this stupid shit? You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Have any idea what's going on? Sorry, not sorry. It's just funny. But anyway, about what he's actually said here. About what he's actually said. Memeing aside. What the fuck are you saying? What the fuck is this? How, what are you doing? 
you're getting up here on your high horse. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know who he's referring to here. Who's who's the subtweet at? But I cannot imagine saying something like this because I, I per. I feel like somebody on Twitch said something that he didn't like because he's a little dick mentality. He went to their channel or whatever. He looked them up and he saw that they had less viewers than him. Basically, he just wanted to win whatever argument. Personally, see my fellow streamers as coworkers. We share the co-working space. That is Twitch. And our boss is like, feels like doesn't really give a shit about us. Okay, True. so just like how the viewers are on our True. team, the other streamers are really on your team too because we share a lot of the same issues. Like we are all suffering from the ads. We're all suffering from the absolutely shit discoverability of the platform. You know, there's, there's problems that we, we share. I cannot imagine like standing on the rooftop and shouting to all the other streamers that... Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> How hey, they mate, need for the to sub. do their job or how they need to do their hobby or it's so discouraging to to say that because everybody starts somewhere man and every streamer who has been able to turn this into a career or even someone who's just seen their numbers grow over time right we all remember how fucking hard it is in the beginning to build any kind of momentum at all, to get anyone to give a- It took me like two years to actually make any money on Twitch. A shit, and it's so discouraging because there's gonna be weeks and weeks of grind where you feel like you're not even talking to anybody. You gotta learn how to talk to yourself because there's nobody in the chat wanting to talk and it's just like, you just have to do your best no matter what and push, push through all the discouraging feelings and self-doubt and all that so that way you can keep doing what you wanna do, right? I'm not like, I think that if you are going to be in the online space and are going to try to be a streamer, you shouldn't let things like this bother you because that will, people are going to talk shit all the time. People are going to go out of their way to hate on you and discourage you all the time. It's going to happen. And honestly, you need to get used to it because it's just, that's part of being an online personality. If Pyromancer had any confidence whatsoever about who he is or his channel, then he would not try to shit on someone that doesn't have his numbers. But it's like, it's already so rough for small streamers. They don't need extra discouragement from you. They don't. Man, I remember my first viewer. They don't. I remember my first viewer, Natsu Dragon Slayer, okay? I used to have him added on Facebook. All right, I don't talk to him much anymore, but I talk to him from time to time. And I remember one time, because I only had like one person in the stream, I just ended the stream. And I saw him type in chat, you didn't say bye. And I felt so bad. From then on out, I always said bye. Even if there was nobody in the chat, I always said bye. <laughs> I just ended the stream, dude. I didn't think anybody was watching. Like... There's a lot of factors, by the way, that can go in to viewership also. Did and I forget hissies? Even, like, there's a lot of cases where you could be the most entertaining streamer in the whole wide world, but if your game is oversaturated, if you just don't have a following yet, you, you're going to struggle for a while, man. So it's just complete bullshit. It's just absolute and complete bullshit, and it's obvious to me that he's just projecting. One thing that a lot of people have been repeating, and I tend to agree, is that he is really upset right now because uh, viewership is way down, but it's down all across the FFXCV category, to be honest. The game's in a little bit of a lull, but- Well, okay, that's true and not true. It's down for him, but it's up for me <laughs> because of him. <laughs> so, uh, you know. <laughs> you know, because all you motherfuckers in look, we got 2,400 motherfuckers in here, dude. My average is around like 1,400. We got an extra 1,000 people in here just because you're drama thirsty as fuck, man. That's the only reason why you're in here is to see what more bullshit this idiot said on Twitter or on a YouTube video or some shit and to type XFFing in the chat. That's it. Because, because you know, in this chat, you could be as, you could be almost as stupid as you fucking want. And it's acceptable in here because, I, because that's what it's known for. Okay. Anyway.
but he came when he came into the Epic City community. He was doing the main story quests, and uh, he had like five K viewers. He had yeah. like, it was really popping off at yeah. the time for all the Epic City streams, mm -hmm. and that can't last. It Dude. just it's it's unnatural, bro. It's like everything that she's saying right now. I have said, bro. A pre-watch. So here was Pyro's problem, man, is that he thought that was going to last. He thought that all those motherfuckers were in there for him. Okay, and I know this is going to sound bad. It's just it is what it is. Okay, so day one of Prague, we we're at 8K viewers, okay? My average is around like 1,400 or some shit. I, you know what? Let's see. This is wrong because Prague just happened. So we'll go to, uh, we'll go to, we'll go to 90 days. We'll go to, okay, look, 90 days. What'd I say? About 1,400? I said about 1,400, so I was close. Okay, yeah. Now, right now, it's 2,400. Now, over Prague, okay, so look at the past, like, seven days. Now, obviously, this is fucking hella inflated. Look at this number right here. Ten, almost 10,000. Just having 4,000 viewers is insane to me, okay? So this isn't going to last. Now, as a streamer, you need to realize this. You need to understand this, that these numbers, a majority of people are only in here for this one time, and then they're going to get the fuck out. Yes, there are viewers that do not give a shit about you as a streamer, as a person. They only care about what the fuck is on the screen, okay? They don't care about you. His problem is that he thought that they cared about him or something. They were watching him watch the story. As that went on, he ran out of content. He ran out of story. So people got the fuck out. They're like, okay, he's done with the story. There's no reason to watch anymore. I'm done. Growth. It was a very unusual period in the lifespan of XCV. And uh, you can't expect that to always last. Like there's going to be highs. There's going to be lows. It just happened that during that time, it was a very high high. And uh, I think that after things could settle down a lot, he became really bitter about it. And he started blaming the viewers for it. From what I understand, like he had quit his job, he got a new car, like he got a house and, and everything. <laughs> so that, that these kinds of numbers just could not have been sustained. Ooh, ooh, I didn't know that. So he got a house and a car? Whew. Did I know about his wife? Look, man, I'm gonna be real. I don't care. Everybody has problems. I have problems that are just as bad currently in my life right now. I just don't talk about them. Like, it sucks. Like, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you, okay? It sucks. Everybody has problems. And using those problems in, as an excuse to me is fucking bullshit. It's just not genuine, man. Like, if you have problems like this, you don't treat people like this. You don't, tr like, you don't, like, what does she say earlier? Bite the hand that feeds? You don't shit on other streamers. You don't shit on your viewers if you have these major problems in your life. If you have these major problems in your life, then you need help. You have a channel. You have people that are willing to help you. You take that help and you be grateful. You be insanely grateful for that fucking help. Okay. Nobody has to do shit for you. He wanted to milk people. That's what I think. He was like, well, Mo, well, Mo, my viewer counts like super high. I'm all important. I have this massive ego. They owe me things. They owe me. See, that's his fucking problem, man, is that he thinks that you owe him when it's actually the other way around. He owes you. Nobody would ever say something like that last tweet if they genuinely thought that the streamer, the content creator doesn't owe their viewers, man. Because as a content creator, I owe literally everything in my life to you guys. I really believe this, that in his mind, he thinks that you owe him. You wanna see that Dark Knight quest? You owe him. You wanna see him stream? You owe him. Like, you should be happy that three to five people wanna watch your fucking shit. That's what I think sustainable for anyone like if you look at the whole category it's all just kind of lower right now which is normal like if you've been in the game for long enough you've seen especially with mmos especially with epics of e like you're not going to be averaging 5k viewers every day <laughs> no you're not who's who's averaging 5k viewers sitting around in their island sanctuary it's just not really it's not realistic you know like, you can coast for a while on a very popular game and very popular, like, MSQ content, but you can't do that forever. At a certain point, you have to just get back to the grind. Like, you just have to uh, get back to what really matters, which is connecting to your viewers, 
having fun and uh, enjoying yourself. I do know though that when he did the 14 main story quest, he put ads during important cutscenes to motivate the non-subs to sub. <laughs> he was doing this on purpose <laughs> so that way people... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. It's so stupid. It's fucking funny as shit, dude. Okay. You're thinking... What are you thinking, man? You're like, okay, you know what? You know what? I can get people to sub? I'll give them an experience that's so fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. They'll pay me to stop it. Oh, yeah. Did you know that people can just close the window they can actually just click a different oh my tab. god frankie thank you so much for the they can get right. up and go do something else like i feel like maybe that would work if they viewers were literally chained to the chairs forced to watch you and they can't they can't go on any other website they can't watch anyone else yeah then maybe they'll be like please god make the ad stop it's too many anything i what is it only five dollars okay where's my wallet let me find <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? So wait, so so wait, he actually did that? Like he purpose oh alright, alright, alright. Alright, look, like, I'm gonna be real with you guys, okay? I'm too lazy to run ads. I just have them run automatically. If that fucks you, look, look, man, look, 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 look. That's too tedious for me. Alright, I just leave it up to chance. If you see an ad during a bad spot, hey man, then just <laughs> Or get an ad blocker. I don't know what to tell you. It's too tedious for me, bro. All right, I got a VOD channel. You know, I, I got a lot of stuff in place to combat ads, okay? Now, now I don't purposely do it, right? I'm just lazy. If he did that, then he's being vindictive, okay? <laughs> There's a difference, all right? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, you really Dude, we're turning this 20-minute react into like two hours, bro. Plus, of course you gotta win people over a little bit. You gotta win them over. It's not like, oh, they don't like you, they hate you, or they want to sub. No in between. There's no, like in his mind, I guess there's no different. There's like either it's a barnacle. <laughs> there's, there's like free watchers. <laughs> free to play watchers are just sitting there doing nothing, contributing nothing. <laughs> They're like barnacles on the whale, right? Or they actually care about me and they're going to subscribe. I was too dumb to get her, her analogy at first, but when she explained it, I thought it was funny. In, their, in this, in this uh, <gasps> universe, how does someone go from being like what go from one end to the other it had How to be ego happen? man it had dude it had to be ego he thought that he came into the 14 community and was top of the world the top 14 streamer and he was he was like i never even streamed this game i'm so good i just come in and fucking get all these viewers it had to be ego have you seen his apology videos they're a fucking joke he doesn't take responsibility for anything doesn't respect anybody the only thing he cares about is himself I guess by just um, being really uncomfortable with so many ads. <laughs> I don't know. Bro. Yeah, correction. They're not <laughs> apology videos. Correction. They're explanation like, videos. Oh, you shouldn't have an ad blocker on when you're watching the streamer. Oh, all. that was fucked up too. Yeah, he was like telling people not to have ad block on when they fucking watch the stream. Yo, let me tell you what. Here's a warning. Hello. Hello. Okay, listen up. Now, this is in the word. If you are not subbed and are not having an, a wad walker, then you are going to get fucked. Yes. Because I won a lot of ads and you will see them all unless you sub or have a wad walker. And that's it. Out of the. So get a fucking ad blocker in the stream. Money. Here's the other thing about Pyromancer. So I remember him having like a come to Jesus moment. And I remember him coming into my chat every now and then. And he would, he really seemed like he was trying to be a better person. Yo, he, really yo, to he did that to me too. 
He came in the chat, and I don't know what it, it was. Uh, we were doing something. Maybe it was Top Prog, and he did the same shit. But I didn't know he went into other people's chat be nicer really trying to like look in, look deeper and, and grow and and stuff and, and i remember being really i'm like wow we can have some fun together like that's that's cool and i'm proud of you it looks like you're you're coming along it's just great man and uh i still hold out hope that can happen i do i do i don't I'll never, I, I would never. See, here's the thing. While Zep was roasting him more than I am, she's actually way nicer. Because me, he's never going to change. I'm never going to respect him. He's always going to be the same shitty person. And that's how I feel. Prove me wrong. Because me, I don't buy it. Never give up on anyone. Um, but. She's way nicer than I am. Well, why? What was that about? She's I mean, way nicer, I man. I think maybe it was just like. I don't give people second have, like, chances oh, well, very often. Community, maybe they like it more if you're nicer. <laughs> maybe, maybe they will. Maybe I should just try to to be a little bit more more chill. I mean, that might have still been good. Uh, I think he did delete his Twitter, but that doesn't mean anything because apparently you can just get it back. Yeah, I didn't know that either. It doesn't really do anything if if you deleted it. What's the, what's like a good takeaway from that? That isn't disparage. <laughs> There's gonna be times when FXV is doing real well. And there's gonna be times when FXV is doing like shit. And you just need to learn how to spend less money as a streamer. <laughs> okay, like you just need to learn how to, you know, treat yourself when the expansion comes around and uh, eat beans out the can all the rest of the time. <laughs> I genuinely thought that was a fucking video, okay? Wrong with beans out the can, but the little ketchup on there is pretty fucking good. How did my whole speech about how I need subs and to get the stream going if you like the content, blah, 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 how that results in zero subs? There are regulars here. Five dollars a month. <laughs> Girl. How do you have hours of time to watch me and not five dollars? I don't know. What are you doing with your life? You have hours of time to watch. Hell it, yeah. And not five dollars to provide for the content that you're watching. Hell yeah. I forgot. Uh, I forgot how bad that was. I forgot how bad that was. That was nice. I think later, didn't she apologize? And say, oh, I didn't mean it like that. What do you mean? Like, Talk your oh, shit, they should have had. I, I'm really speechless. Some people uh, do like being talked to like that, but Twitch is probably not that platform. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what? Like, what? There might, if that's what you want to do, Stammer. I suggest you that go point? full throttle, girl. I'm sorry. Okay? Uh, do it to somebody that's going to like it. Because... Yeah. Most people didn't sign up for that. That's a very niche interest. Hmm. I see. And, um, can't just push that on everybody. Most Platform link, please? She seems to know a lot about that. Oh, I've seen this clip, man. I've seen this clip. Yeah, that guy seems cool as fuck, man. He's carving. Can I um, give the money back? Can he give the money oh, back? Is there any way I can give the money back? Oh, can, he he give the money back? <laughs> <laughs> can he give the money back? Can uh, he give the money back? I'm telling you, um, you don't have to sub. Like, you don't have to. You can watch this stuff for free. Like, that's the best thing you can do. Hold, can he, like, hold on to your fella's money? We're in the midst of a lockdown. Oh. Well, this was... This was, uh... Yeah, this was during the lockdown, right? <laughs> yeah, this was COVID era. Yeah, yeah. Can you give the money back, he says. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry, man. I almost cried. I almost cried. He said, what a, what a gentle soul. That was, that was, yeah, that was a while ago. I remember seeing Sometimes that clip go around. Sometimes you can just see someone's soul. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Oh my god. 
Dude, that was me earlier it's with like, with that Yabby. Was, that was me earlier when I watched that, Yabby's and I'm, video. I'm thinking, damn, where's this guy? Like, I want to give him all the money. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Zeems, okay. will you give me <laughs> mon me back if I give subs? No, I'm gonna Thank take your you money so much, and I'm gonna bro. fucking get it in cash <laughs> and I'm gonna make a wig out of your money. I really appreciate. I'm gonna wear your money as hair. Do you, I would say, do you do you want Wiggum. the money back? But bro, I I, I kind of need it right now. But I, if you really need it back, I, I <laughs> yeah, will. Thanks, but but for the if, like, I kind of. I kind of didn't need it. <laughs> 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 I was like, if you really need, if you fucked up, it's fine. It's fine, but. <laughs> Take out money for Wendy's. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the stream. I do appreciate it. We can play more rounds, yeah. Let's <laughs> try. I didn't try. Oh, man. What a cool guy, though. That's sweet. That's really sweet. Does this guy you know still stream? I feel like. Does this guy still stream? In my oh, that's his channel. Experience. Oh, last month. Okay, so he doesn't stream very often. Oh no, he. D oh no, I guess not. So he does like RL streams. Oh fuck. Holy shit, man. Dude, I couldn't do that shit. Okay, okay, okay. That's a real job, brother. Or, well, okay, okay. <laughs> I worded that poorly, sorry. Dude, that's like some shit from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? That's some shit from back in the day, you know? <laughs> that's a real job, brother. That's like driving a truck, man. We're getting off topic. Okay. The people that are the most generous, the people that uh, are always there for you, <clears throat> always willing to help you, like always like in your corner with whatever you need, and like don't they always they never put themselves first. They're always thinking of other, everyone else first. Um, obviously that can become a problem <laughs> for people that are very very compassionate and, and very open. But those are the people that have usually had the roughest life like they've been through the most shit they've had they know what it's like to struggle they know what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck those are the people that in, in my life that i know have always been the most generous because uh they can they can empathize they know what it's like they know when five dollars actually is a big fucking deal oh you know what five dollars uh, is that's like four <laughs> cans of ravioli chef boy rd it's about having that perspective chef boy rd is a bro able to recognize the value of even five dollars seriously like you can go five dollars and go a pretty long fucking way hell yeah you can head on down to the dollar store get yourself like the noodles is one dollar <laughs> yeah. the pasta yeah. sauce is another dollar hell yeah it is and that's so much food and you got three extra dollars still. <laughs> yeah. hell yeah it is 